hello there welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl benny empire skincare and i want to say thank you to my returning subscribers and uh you guys are amazing thank you for sticking with this channel and if you're just seeing this channel for the first time you're welcome thank you please do not forget to like subscribe and then comment and this channel we talk about skincare basically skincare okay we talk about how to take care of your skin we'll review skincare products and we also teach natural skincare products okay so you guys are welcome and today's video is very brief i just want to teach you guys how to make your own vitamin c serum okay a stable vitamin c serum that does magic for your face okay so stay tuned and god bless you so guys let's go to my workstation so you get to see how to make vitamin c Okay guys, so we're going in with our one tree Pepanidio um 3% Pepanidio as a humectant. Okay, we need a humectant for the serum to dissolve the xanthan gum. That is what I use. So after this, we'll be adding our xanthan gum 0.5% um xanthan gum. You're just gonna mix, 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 mix it. Yeah, we're just gonna keep mixing it till it dissolves completely. Okay, so it's time for us to measure our phase B. I'm going in with distilled water, 69% of distilled water. And then the next ingredient will be glycerin. You can use vegetable glycerin. Also in home extent. I'll be using sodium lactate. Sodium lactate, when used at a low um, usage rate of about three below, it works as a home extent. And when used at um, above 3%, it as an um, exfoliant in your product. Next ingredient is uh, the sodium EDTA we'll be needing at 0.1 percent EDTA is a chelator is a chelating agent um so that will be all for phase b we're just gonna give that a quick stir stir it stir it stir it well i'm gonna put this um in a double boiler for a minute so you can see now um, our EDTA, our solution, our phase B solution is very, very clear now because I just heat it for a minute and uh, EDTA has dissolved completely. Please do not overheat this because of the sodium lactate in this phase. Okay now, so it's time for us to mix our phase A ingredients with uh, the phase B ingredients. So we just mix this together so we set that aside so it's time for us to measure our phase C ingredient uh, which contains our actives of course So we'll start by mixing um, distilled water. I will be using 16%. So our next ingredient is SAP, sodium ascorbate phosphate. It's a good skin lightening ingredient. It's also a stable form um, of vitamin C and a good antioxidant, okay? So this is what actually gives it that vitamin C in the serum. The next one is the liquorice white powder. Liquorice is a good skin lightening ingredient and it's also a good antioxidant and a good anti-inflammatory ingredient also. The next one is 
ascorbic acid please this notes that this is ethyl ascorbic acid my ac supplier actually made a mistake ethyl ascorbic acid stimulates collagen production it's a lightning and brightening ingredient treat hyperpigmentation it's a good antioxidant please do not use l ascorbic acid in this formulation because of its instability so we'll be using um two percent of this ingredient we're using um okay sorry guys three percent we're using three percent of ethyl ascorbic acid in this um serum mind you it's also a stable form of vitamin c so our next ingredient will be liquid drama plus um you can use any preservative if you want i'm using liquid drama plus for this i'm using 0 0.5 percent So our last ingredient will be lactic acid just to bring down the pH a little bit because um, with sodium ascorbic phosphate, um, the end product is going to be like 8 or so but after adding lactic acid, I'm sure it should be around 5 to 5.5 to 6 which is okay. So we're going to add um, phase A and phase B into our phase C and then mix thoroughly so right now it's going to feel a little bit too um liquid a little bit light uh but this is how it will be for now but um it's going to thicken up um after some time i'll show you the end product of how it has taken up so it's time to check the ph Okay guys, so I'm checking the pH now. It's about 5.06, which is perfect. It's okay. So I'm just going to let this sit for a while before packaging it. So I'll be packaging it in this um, 30 ml amber bottles, okay? It's not safe, it's going to um, degrade if you're using a clear bottle, but it's best when you're using an amber bottle for prolonged um, shelf stability. So I'm going to be putting it in with my syringe. Um, if you have a funnel, that's fine, but I love using syringe. It makes my work clean and neat. So after packing it, I'm just going to keep it. And then by the time it, um, it stays a little bit, it's going to thicken up. And I will show you how it is. I actually do not like it to thick. That is why I always add uh, one tray propanidio because it reduces the viscosity the xanthine gum gives the product so it doesn't get too tacky on the skin so guys i actually left it till the next day you can see um how it looks like now it spreads easily on the skin and it doesn't have it is not too thick and it doesn't have any tacky feeling on the skin at all so guys, that's all for the vitamin C serum. I'll just add the sticker to this. So guys, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Thank you so much.